Yeah, hey everyone, this is Dwayne with Dwayne's Diagnostics, and uh, I am out on a mobile job today, uh, working on this 2010 Corolla, and uh, this is a uh, pretty crazy one. I had actually uh, looked at this thing on Saturday, but uh, didn't finish diagnosing it, so ended up having to come back today, <clears throat> and actually did a, uh, a little video on that on Saturday, but uh, I'm kind of having to start the video over now so i can kind of show you everything that's going on with it but uh the owner just got this car like thursday or friday i think and i looked at it on saturday and i'm not sure what all is wrong with it but it has all kinds of lights on and uh <clears throat> he had told me uh it, it had lost power steering at one time and uh i don't know if it had some kind of shifting problems or something but uh he wanted me to look at it and it's got all kinds of lights on here tpms abs airbag a power steering maintenance light a brake light but uh no no check engine light but this thing is running right now there also is no uh tachometer and no uh speedometer working and uh i have my uh vci bluetooth plugged in <clears throat> and the scan tool hooked up and uh i just read the codes on it but uh I was taking a video on it a minute ago and for some reason my camera started wigging out my phone started wigging out but I did an auto scan you can see right here it says auto scan and uh, these are the only modules it would detect on the vehicle the airbag TPMS immobilizer occupant detection so it will only talk to those four modules so uh, if I go out of here and I try to talk to just an individual module. This is the ECM. It says it's not able to communicate. Tester not communicating with control unit. So I can go out of here, try to talk to the ABS. It won't communicate with that either. I can go out, uh, try to talk to this combination meter. Yeah, I won't talk to that one either. And all of these modules should be on this vehicle, but it won't talk to uh, pretty much all of them. All the ones that are actually on the high-speed network uh, CAN bus, which that is actually the uh, network that uh, all the computers talk to each other on the high-speed computers the high-speed net network which is uh basic basically just two wires <clears throat> that they all talk on and those two wires are actually on this dlc which is uh the two wires which is actually able to talk to my bluetooth device here and talk to my scan tool but uh I'll show you what's going on with it here. Might have to pause this for a second. Yeah, so I've actually got my uh, my scope hooked up here to the can high terminal of the DLC. And this is the signal I'm getting on the scope here which I don't know if you'll be able to see that very well on my phone, but that's a bad signal. That's not a normal CAN signal. And if I switch it to uh, the CAN low terminal, and CAN low right there, there's actually no signal on the scope, but there should be. And these, these are the two lines that, uh, all the computers talk on and where it actually t communicates with the scan tool also. So that's why uh, I wasn't getting no communication with all those other modules on the scan tool because uh, these signals on this on these can lines, it's missing the low signal and, and the high signal is, uh, is corrupted, is a bad signal. So, uh, I'll have to pause the video here and I'll I'll uh I'll show you what problem I found. 
So it's kind of hard to uh, get this on camera, but <clears throat> the problem I found, what I did was unplug this connector here. This connector goes up into uh, the steering angle sensor up in here. And I unplugged that. And I'm still uh, hooked into the uh, can low line. And now I have a can low signal on the scope. And I'll check the uh, probe the can high line here. Now I have a can high signal that looks much more normal. So now the scan tool should be able to communicate. And right now, right now we have a tachometer. And we no longer have an airbag or ABS or power steering light on. We do have a uh, traction control light. But now we have a tachometer that we didn't have before. And I should be able to talk to all of the modules now. Do an auto scan. There we go. It's talking to the ECM. It's talking to the ABS. Wasn't talking to the, the this one, this one, this one before. Wasn't talking to that one or that one or that one. So that finished the scan, says it's at 100%. So that scanned, that scanned all the modules, or all the ones it detected or could communicate with, 11. When it would only talk to four. And uh, surprisingly, there is no codes. There is no codes in the ECM. A bunch of them in the ABS. Those airbag ones, I already knew those were there. A couple there. The TPM S ones, I already knew those ones were there. EMPS, I'm not sure what those ones are about. But uh that was the problem is uh this steering angle sensor up here is bad and it was uh short shorting out the uh can lines and corrupting that signal. So all I did was just unplug that connector and uh, now I got communication and now I can uh, kind of proceed on with my uh, trying to diagnose whatever other problems this vehicle has. But uh, I just figured I'd do a video on that because that, that was, a, it was a pretty uh, interesting diag and uh, not something I see. I don't get diags like that every day. And uh, I'm honestly surprised, kind of, kind of happy with myself that I figured that out. But uh, from what I read, um, those steering angle sensors are actually uh, pretty common for causing that no communication problem with the scan tool. But uh, it kind of, it, it kind of uh, took me quite a while to. Uh, get to that point to where I figured that out but uh that's pretty cool that I did figure it out and now uh my scan tool will communicate so um just figured I'd do a, a video on that one uh hope somebody out there liked it or found it interesting actually a uh I think the guy has a subscriber on my YouTube channel he uh 
he actually told me to unhook the steering sensor and uh i thought he was just maybe kind of joking around or uh playing around with me but uh i i guess he was actually right he must have worked on uh some of these toyotas before that had had these bad steering sensors so that's pretty cool so thank you uh phil i don't remember your uh total full username but thank you phil that's very cool uh I thought you were joking around on that, but it turns out uh, you were right on this one. So thank you, man. But um, yeah, that's probably all I got for this, this video, and I will talk to you on the next one.